birds are out. It's not too warm, it's about 70 degrees. There's no one out here but me. So everything is blooming, everything is starting to turn green, the trees, and I just wanted to come out and do some more macro. Now, I am not a big flower guy. Typically, never photograph flowers, but I have the macro lens. I rarely use it. I'm always on the fence of should I sell it, should I keep it, what should I do? I've decided to keep it and start putting it to use. And a lot of people enjoyed last video, the macro video, so I'll link that up here if you haven't seen it. And I figured I'd make another one since it's a beautiful day. I have the day off. I don't have anything to do except take photos and make a video. Yeah, so there's some small flowers popping out right there. I think I'm gonna make my way down the trail and see if we can find some other stuff. So there's like this little patch of wildflowers, yeah, wildflowers here. And I think I might be able to get like a couple cool photos. So here is the flower that I am photographing. You can see the focus point is on there. There's a lot in focus in the background here, which I'm not particularly interested in. Or I don't kind of like that much, but you know, I'm out here trying something different. So you have all these flowers in the background. You have some green. It's off center a little bit. But, well, I mean, we'll see how it comes out. So that's it. Me and Ali focused in. I'm at ISO 250 because there is a little bit of wind. So I want to go a little quicker with the shutter speed. 1 1 25th f6.3 because I want more of the flower in focus. So not too shallow of a depth of field. I, sh I should probably even go more. Yeah, I'll go 7 1. We'll go one more. And the sun is just coming out. So I can increase the shutter a little bit. So 1 200th, 7 1. ISO 250, two second delay. Found another shot. And this time I'm isolating or trying to isolate or not really even isolate just get one flower in subject and this one's pretty cool because this time I'm shooting this way as you can see kind of like not on top of all the flowers but I'm shooting down into them it almost looks as if like there's this small like forest growing behind the photograph it's kind of really showing like the flower in its element I guess if that's right but anyways again I'm manually focusing you have to. The problem today is there's some wind. On my last video, there was like no wind that was optimal. So you got to keep the shutter a little bit fast here. But I want to keep my depth of field. Well, right now I'm at f14. I'm trying to get all of the flower in focus. But with that, I have to pump up my shutter speed and or lower my shutter speed and pump up my ISO. So you kind of have to find a happy medium here. Now that there's no wind, go ahead and take the shot. Well, no, that's fine, perfect. So for this photo, I'm at 1 200th of a second, F14, ISO 640. So you can see I pumped up my ISO for this one. And I just like the way it looks. I like this one, let me know what you think.
So, I figured I'd walk down a little more, try to get one more photo. And I figured what better way or what better thing represents spring than lush green grass, right? So we have this little patch of grass right here growing. And I'm just moving the camera around, trying to find like the best composition, honestly. And I do this quite a bit. I just move things around until it looks good. And if it works, it works. But I think I found something here. It's a little too cluttery. I want the end of the grass where you get, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but the, like, you know, you get those little like things at the <laughs> things. All right, so let me show you the screen. Okay, so here's the shot. And this is what I'm talking about in terms of the grass. You have the top of the grass right there. Instead of like just a regular blade of grass, you have the little, I don't know what they're called. So you get the idea. But this is what I'm focusing on right here. Kind of zoomed in, make sure I'm good, which I am. ISO 1000, because you got to kind of keep a quick shutter speed here, because this stuff is really blowing around, as you can see. F4. I'd like to go even down to maybe F5 and get more in focus. All right, let's try that. I'll have to brighten it up a little in post, but but yeah, so that's the shot. So I'm gonna go ahead, winds died down, take this image quickly. This is a shot. This is a shot of the day. No doubt about it. Literally, this blade of grass is going to be in focus. This one's falling off a little. And I got that nice smooth background here. And just a other, few other pieces of grass in the background, which is how I like it. I'm going 1 100, 5.6, ISO 1000. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go to F7 one. I want more of it to be in focus. I'm just kind of Using autofocus, it seems to be working, but this is real tricky here. And I'm just waiting for the wind to die down, like right now. And I think that did it right there. Double check. That is nice. That's a nice photo. I like that. ISO 1000, 1 one hundredth of a second, f7.1. There is your image, boys and girls. Alright, so that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, leave those down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.